Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. One woman is dead after a fire at a home in Midland County. It happened last night in Jasper Township. The St. Louis Fire Department got the report of the fire on South Lewis Road just before 8. When they got there, they found the body of who they believe to be a 46-year-old woman. An autopsy is scheduled to determine her cause of death. The home is a loss. The Genesee Valley Mall has released a statement regarding its ongoing closure due to a water main break. It says the break happened in an interior corridor over the weekend and that closing the mall was necessary. The mall says it was able to respond quickly and avoid flooding and water damage to tenant spaces. It will remain closed as repairs take place, but the mall aims to reopen before the end of the week. A Macy spokesperson provided a comment on the closure, saying in part that the safety of customers and colleagues is always its top priority. Another planned closure for Bay City's Independence Bridge. It starts at 7 Friday morning until Saturday night at 6. Officials say the closure is to allow for work to be completed that cannot be done with traffic. The detour will route to Veterans Memorial Bridge. Now here's Chris with your forecast. David, many of us getting up into the 50s today, some even hitting 60 degrees. And as of 630, we could see some adjustments to these high temperatures later today when the official numbers come in, but still well above our usual February temperatures. Tonight will be in the 20s and 30s, which is closer to where our highs should be this time of year. And then tomorrow, another warm day, but it is going to be significantly different if you're closer to the lakeshore. Areas to the south, comfortably in the upper 40s to low 50s, but areas near the lakeshore, a lot of upper 30s and low 40s for tomorrow. The same thing around the Bay region. Those areas much cooler compared to those off to the west. Our northwesterly areas pretty safe from that lake influence, but then you go to the northeast and we see that influence also. The big reason why? Northeasterly winds tomorrow. That should be around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cold front off to our south will eventually move through as we head through tomorrow. The rain chances likely staying to our south. It appears that some of those showers even though this model run isn't showing it could clip some of our southern areas. We think it's a low chance, but still a chance nonetheless. But you can clearly see here the better rain chances are to our south. Your seven day forecast shows Friday's temperatures will start in the 30s and then fall through the day. Then we're cold on Saturday, but right back up to the mild temperatures early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.